Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are on board the Banshee's Whale, guys, and it is finally time to journey to the middle of nowhere. Let's talk to Dread Admiral Tattersail. Aye. And go ahead and take us to Marshal Valentine's shipwreck in the middle of the Great Sea. I know that's not very specific, but yeah, I'm sure you'll find your way. Get moving! Ooh, it is south of Kul Tiras, and it's right smack dab in the middle between a bunch of different places. Do not test me. This is the spot. We need you to retrieve Marshal M. Valentine's body at the ocean floor below. I should warn you, this part of the ocean is going to be very deep. And very dark. And very cold. Speak with Hobart at the starboard side of the ship. He's brought all the machinery you'll need to get to the ocean floor. Speak with Hobart Grapplehammer to dive to the ocean floor, then test your headlamp. Get moving. And this is the place. I'm sure of it. Its hides do not lie. Valentine is down there. Excellent. You and Swindlegear, go talk to Hobart. He will outfit Swindle Gear with the knowledge and equipment necessary to dive to the ocean floor. As you wish. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to uh, Hobart. What's up? Ha! Ah, our diver's here! Your timing's perfect! I just finished patching up the last hole in the air hose. I've got a few diver safety rules for you before we go. You paying attention? Oh, crap. People, a ton of people are talking. Hold on. Let's see what this... I can't do it, Lillian. I know they would never accept me like... Like this. But I cannot turn against my people. Give it time, Stone. We all take time to get used to life after death. Even you? Yes. Even me. My family will be safe, no matter what. I will do all I can to aid the Forsaken's cause. So, uh... How's it going being a rotten corpse? I'm not sure if... I still haven't. This isn't easy, Swindle Gear. Miss Voss advised me to focus on the task at hand. She says proving my worth to the Blight Caller is the best way to keep my family safe. My family. Yeah, so they're still in your thoughts, eh? They are everything to me. I, I realize they don't want me in their lives anymore. But, but that could change. Once they realize it's me, and I still love them. I know they will. They will. Hey, you, you need to focus now. You don't need anyone going rogue, especially right here in the middle of the ocean. Capiche? Yes. Focus. Task at hand. Please the Blight Caller. Keep them safe. I must be about my work, Swindle Gear. Do not take this life for granted. Yeah, we are so domed. Hey, can I get on the uh, little inflatable animal here? Time is money, friend! Okay, I'm paying attention now, Hobot. Great! Rule number one, keep your helmet on at all times! I don't care about no water-breathing magical flim-flam. The pressure down there will crush a goblin's skull. Plus, I'll be using a static-proof earpiece to communicate with you during the mission. You got it? Don't take my helmet off. Got it. Sweet! Rule number one, don't leave your headlamp on. Seriously, don't leave your headlamp on. The longer than, oh, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. Unless you want to get eaten by a shark. You see a shark, you turn that light off. Understood? Don't leave my headlamp on too long. Understood. Perfect. Let's see here. Hobart flips through a soggy manual. Safety rules 3 through 17 are unimportant and boring. You ready to go? Yeah, let's dive. Keep it real. 
Ooh, we are going down, 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 down. And I assume Smee's being affected by the dive helmet. I'm hearing Tortolan music. Hmm. And lots of skeletons. And glowy fish. Oh, now it's getting proper dark. Oh, well, probably really should have taken a look around. Okay, time to test the headlamp. Woo! Okay. That is a powerful lamp. Thick. Looks like you made it. <sighs> Give you instructions. <sighs> and try not to get eaten. Look for shipwreck. Shh. East. Shh. Look for a shipwreck somewhere to the east, apparently. Okay, I can do that. And we're going to avoid the shocks. We don't... We're just going to... Ooh, that is a murloc. Uh oh Let's go ahead and stay, uh, stay stealthy. Yeah. And here we go. We have lost our connection. Ooh. You are no longer able to hear Hobart's voice over the static. You can make out the outlines of several floating bodies nearby. They have significantly decomposed. But their dog tags should still be intact. Hopefully the dog tags can help identify Marshal Valentine. Find and identify the captain of the shipwreck. What? The Abyssia? Oh, the Abyssia. Level one. Ah, okay, this is Dereisty. The ocean's blacky gaze and the world's hypnotizing evolution will be. Follow the Rider of Death from the City of Trolls to the Outcast of Turtles. Death will wait there for you. Well, why do I necessarily want to go then? Okay, anyway, let's find the ship's captain. And we've got some netting over here. Round Sailor. Let's go ahead and set Private Lor Lorelei Whetstone. Okay, don't need you. Where are the bodies at? Gotta find all the bodies. Dun, 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 dun. Here's another one. And how's about you? Night Captain Ellis R. Lattimore, Captain of the Fathom Dasher. Oh, did I not? The captain's dog tags identified him as Night Captain Ellis R. Lattimore, not Marshal Valentine. This was the wrong ship. Wait! More shipwrecks! Lots of them! Northeast! Look for more shipwrecks to the northeast of your current location. Okay. Back into stealth. I feel like a like a worm on the hook. I'm not gonna lie, part of me does really want to see what happens when the headlamp is on for a longer period of time. Is that wrong? Should I be concerned? There's a little dinghy boat with a big anchor holy crap how did that work that doesn't make sense dare we I kind of want to dare two three four I'm expecting like an octopus or just a huge shark to show up and then we can just vanish that's my hope Wait, can we stealth? Oh, we can stealth with the light on.
And I know you guys are aware that I am not particularly fond of deep bodies of water when water levels. Not high on my list of likes. Lots, lots of static. Seems like you're on your own. Oh, that's a tentacle. Okay, something large is nearby. Where are the headlamp attracted a whale shark. Who can see me? Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, then. That happened. <laughs> now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Eh. Hey there, Hobot. Nothing bad happened to me. I just went ahead and snuck back onto the ship from the other side. And discarded my helmet. Yo! Hey, you're back! You ready to go down again? Biolumi Nuisance. Whoops. We're supposed to get this a little bit later. Kill ten bioluminescent creatures to fix your communication issues with Hobart. You're having trouble hearing you. Ksh. Electrical interference. Bioluminescent creatures. Ksh. Getting annoying. Hurry back. Okay, yeah. Uh, Talk to me. Keep it real. We are going to go ahead and dive again. <laughs> now that we know, and knowing's half the battle. Now, what else did that voice say? Death has two faces, and one of them is twisted, turned, unrecognizable. And death will do that. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and kill the jellyfish. And we're going to keep... Keep it dark. And let's just go ahead and... Zoom through all of this. Venomous tentacle. Oh, we can even kill the murlocs for credit for this. I like it. 30k. I love some of the damage that I'm starting to do. The thing about the outlaw rogue, and I think it's pretty much stayed the same ever since Legion, is um, it is relatively weak compared to the other rogue builds, but once you start getting a proper amount of gear... It, the damage starts ramping up quite considerably. I wish I'd been recording back when uh, they needed the hotfix outlaw rogues because they were gods in PvP. And I didn't notice this until I started playing the um, battleground that debuted for Battle for Azeroth. And I was sitting there just chopping beef. And I wasn't in... I was just in Legion era stuff, so it was going against other, like, 110s who hadn't, like, ventured out to Zandalar. Actually, I don't think Zandalar had opened yet. I think they released the the Battleground first. And just, hell's bells. It was amazing. Okay, that's another dead glowy fish. Whoop. It's called Bioluminescence. Hey there, can you read me? Ah, much better. Okay, now we head over to the to the uh, shipwrecks here, go looting through the bodies, and make sure not to wake up the giant whale shark, who I thought may have been dumb enough. Do not attack the center of the brightness. I was mistaken. Give you guys at least a little bit of light here. At least it's just a whale shark. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Wow, it even hit through my cheat death. Like, instantaneously. And let's cloak. And here's a body right here. Private Jeffrey Van Houten. Hey, do you mind? 
I'm trying to rifle through Alliance corpses here. I'm kind of annoyed that they... I'm not the one who made them. Sergeant J. Mills. Provisioner Jared. <laughs> I was like, oh, loot! Oh, you have no loot. Are there any more bodies that we need to look at here? There's dead murloc. Oh, there's one. Master Sergeant Murgatroyd Smith. Ooh, I like the name Murgatroyd. Hmm. Maybe over here. Okay, there's another body. Oh, there are quite a few shipwrecks here. Corporal Alois Hesterfield. I think we need to be looking for a corpse wearing a really nice hat. That's normally a dead giveaway. Knight Lieutenant Samuel Robertson, and he's wearing a hat. Let's see if we just work our way up the ladder. Quartermaster O'Keefe. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's head over here to this shipwreck and see. Strange that we didn't see, we don't see anything deep one related over here. The deep water is kind of their domain. Or at least not them, their servants. Set. Knight Captain Dirk Longfellow, Captain of the Drestvaria. Okay, that's the first sea captain. I guess there's a captain here for each shipwreck, so... Gotta find another body. And she might be right here. Commander Priscilla Hawes, captain of the Gale's Reprieve. Tell you what, the Colterians got some great names for ships, though. I approve. Eh, ah. Lieutenant Commander Andrew Averin, Captain of the Song Swallow. Unfortunately, Valentine wasn't there either. So, now that we can hear you again, let me tell you what's been going on up here. Apparently we were off by, like, a league? Something about undersea currents. Something about tides of time, yada yada. I think selling is getting rusty. Point is, you're not far off now. We're sure that Marshal Valentine is right to the east of you, in a shipwreck up on the ledge. Selene says there's something else big up there too, but he can't tell what it is. Find Marshal Valentine's shipwreck in the undersea ledge nearby. Oh dear. Something else big up on the ledge, hmm? Well, I see a little bit of glowy plant life. There's a shipwreck. What about the other big thing, though? Stay cool, stay frosty, stay stealthed. Not that that's really helped us here, but... What the... Is this, like, getting close to Arthas' undersea home? Say what? You have good news and you have bad news. I'm guessing the good news is that you found the ship. Huh. A dragon, you say? Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, the Horde did utilize red dragons as part of their army during the Second War, but, well, we don't talk about that very much anymore. Still, Valentine is on that ship. You're going to have to get past that dragon one way or another. Slay Dennis Draz.
And... Doink. I am fighting a dragon underwater. It has been a strange day. Yeah, you keep that soul fire to yourself, day. Water breathing dragon. Okay, nice. Good job. Nothing left to do but grab but grab the marshal and bring him back up to the surface then. Though I guess you might as well search the shipwreck for anything else of value. You spent all that time getting down there, and time is money. Grab Marshal M. Valentine's body as well as the body of the other sailor aboard his ship. Okay. Where are ah? Okay. Drowned sailor. Marshal M. Valentine, Captain of the Pride of Tiragard, Marshal of the Third Culturin Fleet. Those are Dark Moon Fair <laughs> balloons. Waste not, want not. And the other sailor's body. Hello. Now, what's your story? Derek Proudmore. Crown Prince of Culture. Oh my god. This is, um. This is Jaina's brother. Oh my god, are we going to resurrect him? Oh my. Okay, that. Whoo. <laughs> it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Okay, ready for turn in. I guess we'll go ahead and keep the lamp. Okay, the lamp doesn't. Light doesn't really matter now. We'll just follow the. The red line. Looks like one of those zombies with the tongues from uh, Left 4 Dead, I think it is. Okay, there's the ship. I see it barely in the distance. We're getting there. Go, go, Banshee's Whale. Though the Horde have some great sh um, names, too. They're a little less creative, dependently, but the Kul I guess since they're the, the pirate culture, or not necessarily the, the, the swashbuckling culture, that they would have the monopoly on cool ship names. And Voss has a mission for us now, too. Welcome back! We've been, uh, a little busy while you were down there. Alliance attacked. You missed the fun, Swindle Gear. Yeah, Wild Hammer. Why do I still have this thing attached to me? Go away. This is not, this is not good for stealthy work. What is it, you ask? We need to show the Kaltirans what it means to make an enemy of the Horde. The Siege of Boralus. It is really a shame you missed it, Swindle Gear. Dwarven Griffin Riders got the jump on us, but I don't think they were counting on us packing so many trained killers onto one boat. Even Zelin got into the fun. I found this letter on one of the Dwarven corpses. Looks like there's tension between the Culturan leadership and one of their houses, House Ashvane. This might give us a good opportunity to sow some chaos in Boralus. Unlock the Siege of Boralus dungeon. Oh, okay. Keep your guard up. Which I believe we already have done. So you had to unlock it. That's interesting. I am still connected to this and I am not happy. What do I do? Where do I go? Maybe down here into the hold? That is not the way into the hold. Stupid for taking ships in the floor plans. Okay, how about down here? Ah! Executor Gunny and... Okay, so... Marshal M. Valentine. 
Derek Proudmore, who's already got glowy eyes, so I assume Nathanos has already done what needs done. And we got Forsaken Guards. I will bet you money that that Valentine, not even worth it. It is all about this guy right here, Jaina's brother. Out with it. Nathanos looks at the two sailors' mo bodies, pauses for a moment, and then laughs. <laughs> Not only did you succeed, but you've also brought me the corpse of Lady Proudmore's firstborn son. You make my job easy, Swindle Gear. Let's set sail for Zandalar. In case you hadn't noticed, we've been dealing with a bit of alliance interference while you were gone. Make yourself useful. The alliance attacked while you were below the water, Swindle Gear. We fought them off, but they destroyed our other ship. We'd best get moving before they return. We can't risk them finding out about our most recent acquisition. Let's be off then. Tell Tattersail that we're done here. Okie dokie, will do. Speak up! Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get out of here. And get me unhooked from whatever this is. Stay the course. Yeah, that's better. The war chief's will be done. Once again, excellent work, Swindle Gear. At the bottom of the sea. When I next call on you, it'll be time to strike the Culturin capital of Boralus. Go with honor. For the Horde. The Zendalari Wait a minute. fleet must join the Horde. Make it happen. Stay a, stay a while and listen. The war with the Alliance will end us if we do not have the Zendalari fleet. Oh, Garona. The zeal with which you attack the Alliance seems born of more than deference to your queen, Blightcaller. I once fought for their cause. The Alliance's insufferable arrogance has increased tenfold since they turned their backs on us. Turned their backs? When the Lich King's hold over us was broken, Sylvanas sought allies. Instead of embracing their fallen kin of Lordaeron, the humans spurned us, hunted us. So I vowed to hunt them. Thanks, Scarlet Crusade. Ah, vengeance fuels you. I can appreciate that. Vengeance, contempt, call it what you will. When the last of his subjects has been slain and raised forsaken, the Boy King will kneel before the Dark Lady. And at long last, there will be but one queen to rule them all. One queen to find them? <laughs> Corona's like, all right then. Can we do this with anyone else? Hail, friend. Oh, oh we can get an upgrade. Island archaeologist. Island plunderer. I learned the pirate secrets of spotting treasure, granting you a chance to receive additional doubloons on island expeditions, which I've been doing off camera. Oh yes, we're gonna do that. Yoink. Keep your weapons sharp. Is there any? The Zandalari do not seem to like me. We can still talk to him. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Anche guide you. Maybe it's just a thing with Thanos. Who's next? Uh, oh, got one with Garona. Make them pay. My Garona. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, your strikes on Alliance targets have been most impressive, Garona. I admit, I wondered if your loyalties might be divided. Because I was once befriended by the young king's grandfather, I murdered him, if you recall. I am familiar with the tale. I also know that killing Lane Rin was not your choice. No, 
And you are doubtless aware that I have worked with the Alliance, when it served my purposes. But I owe them nothing. The Horde is my home. Good. The Alliance deserves no sympathy. No quarter. Make them suffer, and the Dark Lady will reward you. I caused the downfall of one king. Perhaps it is time I ended the reign of another. And keeping it in the family, no less. Power is out there. We need only reach for it. Okay. Do we got... Oh. I'm listening. Lillian's been helping me come to terms with who I am and why she played a role in it. Goodbye. My blade stays sharp. Amalia seems to be coping relatively well. What she's going through isn't easy, but she's stronger than I was when I turned. I cared and killed nearly everyone who angered me. Amalia has only closed herself off. Given time, she will come around. Trust me. Do not linger. And where'd the bodies go? Yeah, maybe they were put away for safekeeping. And I would bet you money that uh, Gallywix doesn't have anything. No scene. Step right up, pal. Yeah, it's this good. conversation stays between us. Got it. Probably for the best. All right, guys. Well, um, we have sec Oh, there's the sacred cargo. The admiral isn't even anywhere to be seen. Okay. Well, um, yeah, sacred cargo has been acquired and unexpectedly as well. So we are going to go ahead and end it here and pick it up next time. I think that we'll probably be doing um, whatever's going on with Deristi and the and that warning that we got deep down in the water, which was very appropriate. We may be dealing with that in the next episode, but we'll see what happens. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.